Hey. Hi, everybody. This is Katie. Katie Moonchild's World. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here to give you some solutions on a Saturday. Oh, that's why this is called Saturday Solutions. No, this is not a political read. This is a read that tends to be kind of emotional at times. So, um, you never know though, because you imply what you imply into the reading as well as what I interpret. So, you interpret what I say as well as what you see in these cards. These cards have, are full of imagery. So, I would like to thank you for being here. If you like what you see as we continue, please hit that thumbs up, hit the like. And if you think you know someone who might get some benefit from this, share it with them. And uh, most of all, I hope you would choose to survive, to su survive, yeah, Sub subscribe and want to come back for more because we do this every Saturday. To do that, you need to hit the bell that says all to be notified so that you're letting YouTube know that you want to be notified when I post something new. This is not the only thing that shows up on this channel. Amazing how that is. <laughs> but I thank you very much. I'll explain to the people who are new how we do this. We start out by shuffling the card. We do a card pull to find out what our current situation is. <clears throat> and then this is from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck by Colette Baron Reed. Then we will pull a card from the Shaman's Dream deck, which will represent our goals and our dreams, where we want to be. This card, deck of cards is where we are currently. The second card that we pull is where we want to be. The third card we pull is from the Enchanted Maps deck by the same author, Colette Baron reed That is how we get from the current situation to our dreams and goals. And then finally, what we do is we look to see what chakras may be blocked. Maybe one, maybe more. And how to unblock them with stones, affirmations, um, how to focus your thinking. Well, I guess that's affirmations, isn't it? <clears throat> Pardon me. And then finally at the end, I'm going to be using my new deck, the Earth Wisdom Oracle Cards by Barbara Moore and Christina Scagliotti. Uh for a message from spirit. This will be the first time I'm using these cards. I just got them this week. Very intuitive. And as I did my little flip through uh, video about it, I started interpreting all kinds of things in them. So they're very intu intuitive cards. And as always, this is for entertainment purposes only. It's not meant to give you survival advice or um, medical advice, legal advice, stock market advice, or gambling advice. Yeah. So, let's begin. <laughs> what do we need to know? Where are we in our current situation? Please, Spirit, help us. Oh, see the thumb. This thumb. 
I broke my hand here years ago and it's it keeps swelling up and giving me fits. Not as good a shuffler this way, but it's efficient. It works. What's our current situation, please? across in front of you. The flow card. Wow, does this talk to me? Look, here's the earth. It orbits the sun with all the other planets. Right? But not only that, it spins and the moon orbits. I'm gonna, that's a spiral of life, but it could also be envisioned as a moon. As it goes around the earth, it flows. Wow. And it, this is a wave. That's all about flow. Water. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop. Don't get it too close. It is also a water card once again. Obviously, this is a high priestess. A goddess. And she is here now see this between her hands this is her infinite power it's powered back here by the sun by the golden light of the source see how it shines upon her face and upon her crown. The movement of her fingers makes this flow change. She's here. She's with us. It's where we currently are. And it kind of feels like we're getting bashed around by the waves. That's a cleansing process. We are going through a cleansing flow of energy. And it's not a pleasant thing. But we have to go through it to get illumination. Understanding. Clarity from the source to shine upon our face through our crown so that we know how to move our fingers to keep this flow going. And right now, I feel like we're more of a juggler with our whole hands, arms, and everything instead of just our gentle hands and fingers. Gentleness does not seem to be <laughs> in the world right now. It's almost as though she needs to bring her fingers together. Like the flow slips through her fingers. See up here? Like it's kind of getting away from her.
that's us. It's like we're slowly, slowly drifting apart as a world, as a globe, as a people, as a race of humans. You know, someone said the difference between, <laughs> no, scientists have always said, <clears throat> pardon me, scientists have always said that um, science, <clears throat> my goodness, scientists have always said in the past, that the difference between man and animals is our intelligence. But it really is turning out to be the difference between man and animals is our. <laughs> our creativity. It's about our creativity. What we create and what we let through, what we let slip through our fingers. And yes, everybody is a creator. I, well, no matter how you believe, you go through your daily life solving problems all day long. That is being creative because you're creating solutions. And you cannot create solutions unless you're creative. Every one of us is creative. So no, it's not our intellect or our intelligence that makes us different. It's our imagination. But that's all. And how do we even know that for sure? I don't know. When was the last time you were inside of an animal's head? See how creative they're being. Do they solve solutions? Solve solutions. Do they solve problems? You know? Certain animals, if they survive it from one day to the next, they created their solution to survival. So, yeah. It's not necessarily their creativity, but it is definitely imagination. So others would say, no, animals don't have an ego. <laughs> you uh, ever watch a cat? <laughs> yeah Garfield has Garfield doesn't have an ego at all I know it's a cartoon cat but it's based on a real animal here we go where do we want to be oh I love this card and we've had it before this is where we want to be and I really think we're closer now believe it or not This is, what is happening now is the last gasp of a very negative past. Okay. I'm going to move this one over just a hair. This one is such a bright card to begin with that it has a tendency to really pick up the light. Spirit of the river. We want to be completely immersed in flow. So that we can just move forward towards adventure with abandon. It's a 
part of our dance, a part of our flight, as a part of our connection to the source and to each other and to all things that live. This is what we want to be, is carefree, light, floating, swirling, moving, flowing spirit of the river. Wow, it's in the wave. The rapids in the river, you know, it flows and swirls and bubbles and fills with oxygen and Wow, those two cards aren't related at all. No, no, no. But that's exciting because to me, here we are in flow. This is showing our flow. This is showing the goddess here helping us with our flow. She's here with her flow. And she's on purpose allowing her flow to slip through her fingers for us. I'm going to bring this card back up again. We have a tendency to go back and forth here with these two cards. Look at her eyes. They aren't eyes of awe and wonder. They are eyes of focus, intention, and love. There's no anger in her. So I say she's here. She's here. She's trying to show us by cleansing us with this energy and the waves of the water that accumulates from the spirit of the river that we can move forward towards adventure the unknown and not be afraid. Now, you're going, yeah, okay, I get that, I get that. But how do we get, she's, this card is about a river and this card is about waves of the ocean and the whole globe. This is about a real small part of it. But that's the difference. It's the details. All week long, my messages that I've been getting from Spirit have been, the importance is in the details. I have no idea what that means yet. But it has actually kept me calm this week to a point where I'm almost sleepy calm. Everybody else is talking about how they can't sleep. And I'm going, okay. How do we get from the river to the ocean? How? It's like there's an obstruction in the flow. Give us a map how to get there, please. Well, I guess we get two cards. <laughs> I think we're going to keep the first one. That fell out of there. Very, very, very watery reading. My goodness. How do we get there? From solitude. Going inside ourself. But you know what? You're not going to have a choice. The weather's going to pick up again. You ready? 
It's not just that the weather's going to pick up again. I hope you have backup for food, drinking water. And that kind of thing. Because whether you want to have solitude or not, it's going to be forced on you. So if you've been running from everything that's been going on, this is your time we were being forced to make a choice. And the choice is to get to higher ground so that we can see and reach the sources, light, and the goddesses flow. The goddesses flow. That's slipping through her fingers. It's like these are the waters of change, and if you do not want to be swept away by them, you better get to higher ground so that you can focus and feel and shine and reflect the light of the source. This is the only way, only way that we get to be like the spirit of the river and move forward towards adventure with total abandon. Like I said, I hope you have backup batteries a crank radio for the weather, whatever. Um, <laughs> crank radio for entertainment as well. Uh, just all depends. No, I don't think that would even work. We may be going through... You don't know what's happening. And that's the scary thing. So, all of us are a little out of flow right now. Where we've been kind of kicked around by the river we've been in. Knocked around, bumped around against some really big rocks. We're looking for this kind of quiet tidal pool. Where the solitude is at. But just know... At the rate things are going right now. This easy, quiet, eddy kind of resting space is about to go away. Take advantage of it while you can. Because we need you rested, readied, and prepared. We need to be rested ready and prepared. I don't know exactly for what, but that has been screaming at me all day long. Just screaming at me. So obviously, we need to fine tune a chakra or two, maybe. Let's see what these cards have to say. These are the Kaleidodope. Um, chakras, swatches of chakra by Crystal Banner. And they look like paint swatches. <laughs> I like this one. They're kind of fun to shuffle, though. Especially now that my hand's bothering me, I don't mind shuffling the little cards. A lot easier than the big oracle cards are. So, 
Oh, and I just mixed them up so upside down. And there's no upside down, right side up with these cards. So, what chakras are blocked? Please help us. Our root chakra. And in the area of our finances. Worried about our finances, are we? The root chakra is about our physical health, our home, our stability, our survival, our material world, material, material, <laughs> and grounding. When the root chakra is balanced, we have physical vitality, we feel safe and secure. It's easier to trust, we're patient, we're more financially secure, we're connected to nature, we feel like we can persevere anything because we have a strong foundation. We feel healthy and a sense of well-being. But when it's out of balance, we have a lack of energy, our insecurities and the fear of I don't know. The fear of the lack of security and safety. Physical weakness where anger takes over. Financial worries. Feeling, do you feel like you're kind of wanting to have a panic attack? Feeling really anxious, like you pace the floor, cannot sleep. We're indecis indecisive, and right now it's kind of, yes, where do I give money? How do I give money? But, oh, where who gets the money? When I give it, where's it going? So, ooh, I guess I better hold on to it till I know more. Or just plain old, ah, I'm holding on to my money. I got to go to the bank and get my money because I don't know what's going to happen here. You feel selfish. You feel out of touch with reality. Now the crystals for this are jet, which is very black. Red jasper. Black tourmaline. And onyx. Those are just a few of them. find it fascinating that three of those are black. We find that black tourmaline will absorb negative energy. I have a I have black tourmaline hanging in my bedroom window to absorb negative energy so that it makes it easier to sleep at night. But apparently, my own need for it, maybe I need to wear it today. The affirmations are, I feel safe and secure. I am grounded and stable. I trust myself. I have everything that I need for solitude. My physical needs are abundantly met. Even if you just tell yourself, my physical needs are abundantly met. Anytime you start to feel scared or worried today. 
Tell yourself, my physical needs are abundantly met. Well, wow. quit worrying about your finances. You need to take, want to take some money out to have cash on hand. Do that. Just don't make any rash decisions right now. Right now we're being forced to go into solitude. That's what this map is telling us. Before the past, it was advising us to go to solitude, but I am feeling today and now it's telling us, not advising us, it's warning us and telling us that to find this light, we got to get to higher ground. We got to raise our vibrations. And the best way to do that is to get to higher ground in solitude. So that her flow that she's letting slip through her, intentionally letting slip through her fingers, can wash over us and through us. Pushing us out of our fears. Into the river where we can move forward with abandonment. Well, these are the Earth Wisdom cards. This is the first time I've used them and the first time I've shuffled them. So we'll divide them up here. These are totally intuition type cards. They have no guidebook. They are Celtic in nature. So there is a lot of nature in them and a lot of Northern European Celtic flair. That is my background. That's my ancestral background, um, as well as past lives. Spirit, what do you have a message for us? In these times of trying to stay in the flow, give us a good message. What do you want us to know, please? I heard loud and clear, trust in the beauty of truth. Trust in the gentleness of absolute clarity and truth. Because this is what we're getting. Truth can be an ugly thing when you don't want to face it. But this card is telling us truth is a beautiful thing. And it always, always, always floats to the surface. It always comes out. So it's all in your perception. See, once again, 
We have that energy, that light energy flowing into the crown of her head. That's her inspiration to play this magnificent harp that's made out of these gorgeous flowers. This is the truth, the little droplets of truth. Listen for them. Stop looking at things as so dark as huh, the flow from this card, the energy from this card, the freedom from this card. The flow from this card shines down on you and through you as your absolute truth. So you can play your beautiful harp. What a beautiful way to end an interesting, interesting reading. Wow. Don't think I need to add much to that. Except I really, really appreciate you being here with me. Um, I would be doing this anyway for myself. It has a lot more meaning when it's for people that I care about. And I definitely care about you. I thank you for coming here. I thank you for being who you are, the gifted, wonderful souls that you are. I thank you for being my subscribers and for just partaking being here. I hope this provided a little bit of a solution to you. You guys, it's all about flow and staying in flow. And if you don't understand what flow is, watch how water moves uh, when you stir your cup of coffee. Watch how that liquid moves. The circular movement is a form of flow. It's actually a very powerful form of flow as that is kind of how time works. If time really enters existed to the universe. Anyway, I thank you very much for being here, sharing this with me, and allowing me to come in and take your time. I send you blessings and love and light. I hope you find grounding. Stop worrying about your finances. If you are really worried about your finances, go get some cash. Make sure you have some backup needs, whether it's for weather, whether it's for other reasons. It never hurts to know in yourself that you did what you could to make sure you had abundance. You do have it. It's your truth. It's right here. It's unlimited. And it's up to you whether you want to let it slip through your fingers or be greedy and hold on to it. Just knowing that letting it slip through your fingers, you're going to play beautiful, beautiful, truthful music. Even if it's only a droplet at a time. Plant those seeds. Be kind to one another. Find your healing that way through kindness. But most of all, be kind to yourself. Sometimes you got to set boundaries to get to the higher ground. Not barriers, but boundaries. See the ladder? Kind of awkward big steps in that ladder. Be kind to yourself. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>